Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're... I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Can't gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense at the motor in. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safe in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. There, just... Look out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pie driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? What the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Please! You can't just leave him like Please. this! Lee, do something! Stop, stop, stop! Come on, do something! Oh man, oh man! Oh, oh. Shit. No, no, no! Stop! Fuck! This can't be happening! Hurry! Uh. Let's go, let's go! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Please! It has to be now! Ah. Ah. Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, ah. we have to go, now! Ah. Oh God! Shit, is he... He passed out. Live, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. No! The gate's open! We got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell what are they doing? Please, time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what he can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more men to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. 
Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But the food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there's enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might be safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight do it. There's today's food rations. There's not enough for everyone. Good luck. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. You stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? Hand out? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you.
Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right! There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we'd use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Ah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this would help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Oh, hey, yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Doc? No, probably not. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving crazy. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. 
I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit. You don't think I'm... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man brought... I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your knock and friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bait that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. Gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were fine safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, and we're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road, and if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if any seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stuck up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. 
This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking at the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, I'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra help hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. I've been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always hooking this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. Let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we keep this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bug in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us fine? This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. We got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We 
You're awful, huh? These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Miguel will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top up the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all help now. Looks like it just needs a new board for seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we could pull our weight around here. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? 
I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders, Day, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mutt's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. This rope is perfect for the swing. This shouldn't be too tough. Now, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that thing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep training for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick, you know? Like us. We can't be the first people you invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the huss out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Don't you see enough? Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusion. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm... I'm sorry, alright? 
I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this f is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Well, they seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask more to eat after this is done. Alright. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there be good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. To get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. A little help? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had the demons! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Blades are stuck in the dirt. Get down! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, that hurts. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna fight with those. Where's our food, you asshole? What happened? Shit. It. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Get closer! Show yourself! You really think you're fucking us? Where do you think you're going? Can't hide forever! What about our arrangement? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? I can do this all day! Gotta lure me to the Here. You like those a bit? 
Holy shit! Are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have them all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We rented some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked and tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this Ain't shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take the place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help them deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah! Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start fighting back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed.
you see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, I told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else I got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a rake training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Your gun's down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them, men who lived here, but it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice, not at all. They took her away into the woods, wouldn't tell me where, and I begged them every way I could think. But they just laughed, <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear last time. 
when I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole it from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, come down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman's a lifesaver. Today. My girl here. You really like a girl. What's not to like? Exactly. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. 
You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running. People get hungry. A few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in this tier. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. And it's a course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for something. It'll be a good one. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he... He probably talked a little more than he oughta. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it with them. There's a baby in there? Careful, don't spook her. Hey, Clementine. My hat! You found it! You knew I needed it. Well, you did tell me it was a birthday present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? Probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. Mm. 
You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. Got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smashed the lock. And what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to attack. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know I'd pick a lock, right? Oh, why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just stick off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got plan. I'll hang around, keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Moving bad. There, that should do it. Fucking dang, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Get off. Oh, son of a fuck. Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. 
Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. Make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. You know, you're a strange guy, Lee. Well, anyway, uh, we best get going. Uh, I'll fix this door later. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Excuse Holy. a mess, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a... Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. Be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. First aid recently. Huh, where is that core going? Sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. 
Yeah, Lee, gotten into you. He just had his dog. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us me. Body a skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? Fucking Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Yeah! I'll kill you! of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't drank your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. And duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Come on. Try us out. Coward. Dad! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's Marlin on the way. Let us out now. If you want to live, that's not gonna help. Don't want to know what kind. They're not gonna open the door! You, you found you a way out yet? I wouldn't be hanging around in here if I knew a way out. Chop people into meat! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Dad, this isn't helping! Bread bastards. Salt legs. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Ah, door's too solid. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, <laughs> Easy! Oh, oh, God. Dad? No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He's 
stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! It has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? Fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! you can bring him back, Lee. We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead. Look, we're running out of time. If you don't want to deal with this, I will. Look, Kenny, back to the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Doesn't fit. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You got at my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're what? putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You, you're fucking frivolous, Lee. Fuck! No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes. For now, but we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. to be air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Don't they do? Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. You have a coin? Uh-uh. Lively. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cared about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about... him? Look, I know there's a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn... Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, 
Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Outside the bar. Oh, shit. Just guard the place, like you said. We can sit out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and mix that truck. We want to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep alive? Not the kid. I'm going to need them to trail. Ah. Oh, I know, neighbor. This is hey, my favorite song, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Tell me what's going on. Some fucker thinks this is a game. Watch it. 
Do you have a weapon? Yeah. Good. Keep it simple. As soon as he passes, jump in from behind. See what he's doing now. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have... This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clement safe. I'll be right back. He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. Keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick low. And Lee, be careful. Come on. 
know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! About what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. I'll do it! Please. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop! Get out of here! 
Away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Like a man, Lee. Lee. They're getting in. Lee. Let's go. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't give her a loan, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your... Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. Just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's aunt? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. 
Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, they're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff is ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's ending, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. But why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your side. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I like so. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? They can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I'm thinking it, you're I'll safe, you know. sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who took. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you to listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? 
You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all the shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck us up for everyone else! <laughs>